This is for all the ladies who get PMS. What if I told you that you didn't have to suffer for a week before your period every month? Yes, you know, we get angry and irritable, we get bloating, breast tenderness, anxiety, insomnia, so much more. But while it is common for many of us, there are herbs that can help. So this week on Chiffon Talks Periods, I am sharing eight more unusual herbs for PMS. Now you may have heard that Agnes Castus or Vitex can help PMS, and it can. It is known as the women's herb, thanks to, you know, just how much it can do for our hormones. And what I love about Agnes Castus is that it can often get to the root of those hormonal imbal imbalances that contribute to PMS. However, the downside is that Agnes Castus is slow acting. You, know, you need to take it every day, often for a few months to really get the benefit. Our endocrine system you see, is slow acting, so it can just take a while for our hormones to readjust. It you know, doesn't suit every woman and every hormonal picture. It is also not suitable for anyone on hormonal contraceptives. And sometimes, you know, say it might be hard to get your hands on it, depending on where you live. Whatever it is, it's good to know that there's lots of other herbs that can help you PMS as well. It's also worth noting that the herbs that I'm gonna share in this video can be used along side Agnes Castus to help ease the symptoms while the Agnes Castus helps to slowly bring those hormones back into balance. So these herbs can be taken together or separately as needed. You know, herbs work really synergistically together. So often a few herbs are needed to work together to get your body back into balance. So here are eight of the herbs that I use in my women's health clinic to support women with PMS in addition to Agnes Castus. This list is by no means exhaustive in any way. If you would like to learn more about any herbs for any other period problems or any specific P PMS symptoms, then just let me know in the comments. First up, we have chamomile. So chamomile is, I mean, it's one of the most well-known herbs. It's one of the most commonly drunk herbal teas and many people know of it for its benefit in aiding sleep. But chamomile has also been studied for its ability to ease PMS. It is really calming for the nervous system. So it helps to reduce those emotional symptoms of like anger and irritability. It helps if we tend to lose sleep because we become serious overthinkers in that week before our bleed. Chamomile is also great for our digestion. It's really anti-inflammatory. It's antispasmodic. It helps to ease gas and bloating. So like if you tend to get IBS-like symptoms of part, as part of your PMS picture, chamomile can help. It's also a helpful tea to drink once your period comes as well, especially if you get cramps. I would recommend drinking three cups of strong chamomile tea a day though to get the benefits, not just one cup every now and then, <laughs> three cups a day. Uh, number two is dandelion. It's an amazing herb that can help PMS by supporting the liver. So if our liver is overworked in general, it sometimes uses the skin, which is our largest organ of detoxification to help offload to toxins and that re results in spots or acne. And dandelion can help prevent this. Dandelion leaf supports the kidneys as well. So it can be really helpful for premenstrual bloating and swelling as well as premenstrual acne. Third up, we have Calendula, my girl Calendula, my fave. Um, she's best known for her skin and lymphatic benefits, but Calendula is also a brilliant menstrual herb. It's an amenagogue, which means it assists the blood flow to the pelvic region and can help bring on delayed periods. Like dandelion, Calendula is also great for premenstrual acne and for fluid retention. Um, it's a well-known lymphatic herb great for lymphatic circulation and drainage too. Fourth, we have gentian, an amazing liver herb. Liver health is really important for our overall menstrual health. Gentian is really known for its bitter taste, which adds you know, that benefit to the liver and aiding digestion. But gentian also has specific amenagogue properties like calendula, and it can help to regulate the menstrual cycle in that way. It also has nervine properties, which are particularly helpful for calming the nervous system in cases of premenstrual or also menopausal mood swings. Make sure to follow my page to check out part two, which is gonna to come tomorrow, and I will share four more lesser known herbs for PMS then. Nervines are really helpful for PMS. Our nervous system and our menstrual system are so intricately linked. And so the next three herbs for PMS are all nervines, meaning that they are herbs that support the nervous system. So first up we have valerian. Hormonal fluctuations before our period can cause premenstrual insomnia for some women. It's a really overlooked symptom of PMS. Um, but valerian aids sleep and calms the nervous system in times of stress. For many of us, just simply like pushing through our premenstrual week without taking it a bit easier puts a big stress on our bodies, just doing that in our, in itself. So taking valerian in that week before your period can help. It's also antispasmodic, so it can be helpful if cramps keep you awake at night um, before or during your period and can help you sleep better. Next is lemon balm. Oh, such a delicious and uplifting herb. It promotes relaxation and eases insomnia, but it also reduces gas and bloating. So it's even been studied for its effect on e easing heavy 
periods and period pain. It contains something called rosmarinic acid, which is a really potent antioxidant. It supports memory and longevity. So it can also be helpful if your brain feels a bit foggy before your period. And then Passiflora is another incredible herb for the nervous system, reducing stress, aiding sleep in a very gentle way. If your main PMS symptom is anger and irritability, Passiflora is a great remedy to take alongside Agnes Castus throughout the month. You can take it more um, regularly though in the days when you have those premenstrual mood swings um, and when they, you know, the anger kind of starts to emerge. Lastly, not an Irvine, but a very surprising PMS herb is Echinacea, known mostly as an immune herb. So the immune system is naturally weaker when estrogen drops in the second half of our cycle. So this is why some people may be more prone to a cold before or during their period. So if this sounds familiar to you, make sure you take some echinacea to support your immune system in the premenstrual week. It is also really helpful if you're prone to premenstrual acne. So, you know, depending on what PMS symptoms you get, I hope you find these various suggestions helpful. Please share this video with your friends. Help me spread the herbal magic to any women who need it. Thanks.